Are these the redemption of the GT cut line? Let's find out. What's up guys, Vinny here with Secret Tweaker and welcome back to another video. Today we have the performance review on the Nike GT Cut 3. Um, didn't say zoom this time, well I mean I guess I could because it is Zoom X foam, but this line is, or this model in particular is a little bit different from the previous two. Whereas the previous two use Zoom Air, this one uses Nike Zoom X foam. And Zoom X, as you guys know, is super comfortable when put into Nike's running shoes, but how did it perform? in the basketball shoe. We'll see in a minute. As always though, let's start it off with the traction. Now, the GT Cut 3 features a multi-directional herringbone traction pattern. Tried and true, it's honestly, you, you can't really go wrong with this traction pattern. I'm, and I'm kind of glad that they stepped away from the smear traction pattern of the GT Cut 2s. I wasn't a big fan of that. I honestly, that shoe was a big disappointment to me. And a lot of you guys who follow me do know that and yeah wasn't the brightest moment for Nike. This traction pattern, however, did extremely well. It was able to really bite the floor and perform really well on pretty much all court conditions. However, I say that with a caveat. Even though it bit well on dusty floors, it did collect a lot of dust. So every now and then you did have to wipe on those dusty courts. And it essentially is a dust magnet and translucent outsoles, but in this colorway in particular, tend to be dust magnets for the most part when it comes to Nike shoes. And this was no different. And the first few times it collected a lot more dust, but the more and more you play in it, it gets better and better. Traction on it was absolute money. Now, I wouldn't say it's durable because as you guys can see, just like right here, the rubber does start fraying and it starts fraying pretty quickly. And I did not take these outdoors, mind you. Utah is still pretty cold but this also isn't a shoe that honestly i really wanted to take outdoors and for good reason because again as you guys can see the traction pattern and on both feet especially on kind of these outer sides they really really started to like fray and rip rip off on the medial and the lateral side so i wouldn't say it's durable i wouldn't say this is a shoe that you should take outdoors especially for the price point it's at really not worth it As for the cushion, the GT Cut 3 features a Zoom X midsole, which again is a departure from the previous two models. And I have to say this one is a little bit firmer than the previous two models. The twos for everything that it lacked, the cushion was still really good. It was really bouncy. And then, then the ones, you guys know how I feel about the ones. One of my favorite basketball shoes of all time at this point. The threes, again, it is a departure. And I gotta say, as just for the performance of the shoe and just the way it's constructed, it works. It's not going to be the most plush and it's not going to have all that compression, especially I mean, if you're comparing it to the running line, the running line is, it would be super unstable and just too damn soft for, for basketball. Uh, this one is a firmer setup. It's got more energy return, more bounce, and it does offer a good amount of impact protection. So you can't really go wrong with it, but I still, for me, I prefer the setup in the one particularly more than I prefer any of them. The one, again, by far was my favorite setup and not just cushion, just overall, but the cushion in particular in this case, again, I prefer the one. This one, I think they did a great on the first try, but I also think there's a lot of room for improvement. So we'll see as far as what happens going forward. You do also get a good amount of core feel. So for those of you worried about that, that's there as well. So there's stability, there's core feel, and there is, I would say, still energy return and a decent amount of bounce. Now, as for the fit, these do fit true to size. They do run a little snug. So for those of you wanting to get these and are wide footers, just keep that in mind. If you could, I would try these on in store and see how they fit. You may potentially need to go up half a size, but again, I would recommend trying them on in store, especially when it comes to the heel area. The heel part does fit a lot narrower than one, I guess I would say than the one. The two kind of for me fit pretty narrow as well, even though it had a pretty beefy and bulky heel counter. The heel area still was 
decently narrow. So for the fit, I mean, for me being a wide or not a wide footer, I guess I would say medium to slightly wide footer, I was able to go true to size and that worked out for me. However, again, try it on in store before you buy it. It's not a cheap shoe. You want to get something that fits you well. As for the materials and support for the price of the shoe, I wouldn't say it's anything special. It works. It's super lightweight. It's breathable. But again, it's made of textiles and just synthetics all around and you don't really necessarily get anything premium in this shoe. What you do get is functionality and honestly, again, for what it's worth, it works. You also, for the support portion, do get this shank plate that goes not just from like the midfoot, but it all goes all the way into the forefoot area and that just helps with propulsion and just its original rigidity. So this, this thing really, it doesn't really twist. You're not going to have any stability issues when it comes to the shoe. You also have TPU walls on the lateral side just to help keep your foot in there. It's also there on the medial side. So super nice, super, I, I, I'm not gonna say durable because again, it is not made with the most premium materials, but again, it gets the job done. As for the weight of the GT Cut 3, these things weigh in at, and this is a size nine, mind you, comes in at 11.5 ounces, which is actually pretty damn light for, for a shoe of this caliber. So if you guys are wanting something lightweight, not a bad shoe at all. And then for the price, the GT Cut 3s retailing at $190, which honestly, I feel like is a ripoff because they took tech out of this. I know I, they switched over to a new tech, but Zoom X, I mean, Zoom Air, even though Zoom X is, is an amazing foam, it's not going to really measure up to Zoom Air, especially when it comes to energy return and then when it comes to the longevity of the cushion. So I feel like, again, they took tech out, but they marked the price of $20. The GT Cut line normally retailed in at $170. Some of them, I think $175, $180, depending on the colorway, which this one, if you look at the All-Star colorway, I think it's at $200. It's just honestly ridiculous what, what they... <laughs> what Nike is doing with the pricing. And honestly, I feel like we're getting ripped off when it comes to what Nike is putting out and then the quality, or I guess, yeah, the quality that they're delivering. They're putting in new tech, selling it as that, and it's not worth the price. So honestly, I feel like there's better shoes for that price point. And you can look anywhere besides Nike and you can get shoes for cheaper prices than these and much better performers. Now, I get it. There are some of you that are pretty damn loyal to Nike. You're gonna wanna go that route, again, by all means. But I would wait for these to go on sale. I actually waited, these actually went, this colorway in particular, went on sale pretty quickly, right after release. So I just honestly grabbed them on sale. I think I got, got them from like 140 because of the Valentine's Day sale. Honestly, I wouldn't spend any more than that on these. Again, to each their own, that's just, my opinion based off my experience. Now, a lot of people also ask us where we get our basketball socks from. The answer is from Amazon. They come in a pack of three that costs just as much as one pair of Nike Elite socks. The ones we have are these two muted colors, which the white one and the black one, and they are quarter length. So if you guys like quarter length, they have them available in that, but they also have them in the high top version. Like I said, they come in a pack of three that costs just as much as the Nike Elites, and these are pretty much the same thing, but without the Nike branding. They're cushioned, they're ventilated, and they're amazing socks and they last a long time. If you guys do want a pair, hit the link in our description down below and go grab yourselves a pack. Not a pair, grab yourselves a pack. If you guys have played in the GT Cut 3s already, let us know your experience down below. If there are any other shoes you guys would like us to review, again, comment down below for more content like this. Please like, subscribe, and follow to support us. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.